Hello and welcome back. Today we are here with more news, some exciting news. So strap in for this news as we have some updates from the Sussex camp. So Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, has set two new unscripted shows at Netflix via her and Prince Harry's production banner, which is under an overall deal at the streamer. Though titles and release dates are yet to be announced, both projects are currently in early production. The first show will be curated by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, and will, quote, celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship, end quote, per an official description. Leah Harriton, who was behind Selena Plus Chef, will serve as showrunner, while Michael Steed, will serve as director. So he has been involved in My Next Guest Needs No Introduction and Anthony Bourdain Parts Unknown. Sony Pictures Television Intellectual Property Corporation produces the show with executive producers including Megan Harriton and Chanel Heisnick and IPC Aaron's Sademan and Eli Holzman. And the second project, primarily shot at the U.S. Open Polo Championship in Wellington, Florida, will, quote, provide viewers unprecedented access to the world of professional polo known primarily for its aesthetic and social scene. The series will pull the curtain back on the grit and passion of the sport, capturing players and all it takes to compete at the highest level, end quote. So the showrunner is Milos Balak, who is behind Welcome to Wrexham, and executive produces alongside Megan, Harry, Pysnik, Ian Samplin, and Boardwalk Pictures, Andrew Fried, Serena Roma, and Dane Lilligard. So this is just one more production from the Sussexes, as we know they had a huge successful show for Netflix, the docuseries Harry and Megan, and notably The Heart of Invictus. So this is fantastic news. Jump in the comment section, share your excitement for this. I would love to know your thoughts. Deadline, who is one of the major trades, was the first to report this news. As now we have this news on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who will be now giving us two new nonfiction shows. And now they are in the early stages of production, or we can call this pre-production. Now, Megan, this is her wheelhouse. We know that she has had a huge background in the entertainment industry. And this seems to be, once again, focusing on the passions of this couple, Megan being a foodie. And, you know, she also carried that passion all through the way, even as she became a senior working member of the royal family. We know what she did documenting her love of cooking and also what she did with the Hub Community Kitchen and the fundraising cookbook as one of her first projects as a member of the royal family. So she is not new to this, she is true to this. And now we will have something that is a passion project for the prince, Polo. We know that for decades he has played the sport and it has played a huge part in what he's done with Santa Bale. He often plays in charity matches, including a flagship fundraiser for his charity. The charity that he co-founded with Prince Seiso of Lesotho in 2006 to help children and young people affected by poverty, inequality, HIV and AIDS across Southern Africa. So this is fantastic. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex teaming up again, both serving as executive producers on the projects and primarily focusing this time at the U.S. Open Polo Championship in Florida. And they've teamed up with major players in the industry, Milos Balak, who did Welcome to Wrexham, being the showrunner for this. So basically, they will sit down, they will figure out what's going to happen. And remember a while ago that Netflix chief content officer had teased that the couple had several projects in development. This was the quote, quote, they have a couple of unscripted things they are working on with Brandon Rage, end quote, and went on to say, quote, actually, they have like a bunch of development. They have a movie in development a scripted series that they are working on. So all very early development with a movie and a TV show and a couple of unscripted shows. But yeah, the movie's great, end quote. 
And I have to remind you all, allow me to say this here. Remember when some of the tabloids were actually trying to put out word that the Sussexes had fallen out of favor with the Netflix. And this is just once again, food for thought for those who think that everything that is in print is the fact. When in fact, we're seeing that there was a lot of mistruths that were going out with that kind of story. The Sussexes signed a multi-year deal with the Netflix and, you know, they are taking their time pacing themselves. And it's better, I think, to have quality production than just putting out a lot of quantity that perhaps does not get a lot of ratings and viewership. So this is where they're focusing on exclusively creating content, documentaries, docuseries, feature films, scripted shows, unscripted shows for the platform. So I wanted to bring you this news here. Share your hype and excitement for this in the comment section below. And now we will move into the next story of the day. Our news an update on Prince Harry, who attended a summit in San Francisco. So Prince Harry had a notable appearance at the Better Up Summit in San Francisco. Prince Harry assumed the role of host for a session titled Beyond Burnout, in quotes. Embracing his position as Chief Impact Officer at the life coaching firm, the Duke of Sussex spearheaded discussions aimed at addressing burnout and its impact on individuals' well-being. The Duke of Sussex attended the summit held by Better Up, a life coaching firm of which he is Chief Impact Officer. The Duke of Sussex hosted an insightful conversation with CHROs at Better Up Uplift Summit in San Francisco. He was joined by organizational psychologist and Better Up's chairman of the Center of Purpose and Performance, Dr. Adam Grant and Cisco Chief People Officer Kelly Jones. This year's summit, which was centered on courageous leadership, provided a unique forum for C-suite leaders, business executives, and HR professionals and advocates. At the event, Prince Harry spoke on the panel on the pressures of today's world and modern corporate life. Harry appeared in his usual smart, casual attire, wearing a gray suit jacket open with a plain white shirt and dark jeans. He was also joined by Dr. Adam Grant and Kelly Jones, Chief People Officer at technology firm Cisco. During his session titled Beyond Burnout, Transforming C-Level Stress into Strength, Harry helped to examine how business leaders can best manage unique stress situations. According to the Sussex website, the session examined, quote, how C-level leaders manage the unique pressures of their roles, build resilience, and foster a culture that supports sustainable performance, end quote. It continued to say that Harry and his fellow panelists dove into the, quote, physical toll of leading through uncertainty, end quote, and explained how they shared their own personal stories as well as evidence-based practices and forward-thinking policies. The session that he spoke in, Beyond Burnout, Transforming C-Level Stress into Strength. C-Level is an American term used to refer to those in high corporate positions of power, such as Chief Executive Officer or Chief Financial Officer. So amid the backdrop of Silicon Valley's Innovation Hub, the Duke of Sussex participation in the Better Up Summit underscored his commitment to mental health advocacy and leadership in fostering conversations around mental health. His active involvement as the firm's chief impact officer demonstrates a hands-on approach to promoting positive change within the organization and communities. So during the summit, Prince Harry had the opportunity to engage with notable well-known figures from various sectors, including entertainment. A moment captured and shared widely showed him alongside the office star, Mindy Kaling. This collaboration highlighted the intersection of mental health advocacy and entertainment and media platforms, amplifying the reach and impact of initiatives aimed at fostering mental resilience and well-being. So in the Beyond Burnout session facilitated by Prince Harry, they aimed to delve into complexities of burnout, a pervasive issue affecting individuals across different professions and life stages. By leading discussions on strategies to mitigate burnout and promote mental wellness, Prince Harry reinforced his dedication to advancing mental health awareness and fostering supportive environments where individuals can thrive professionally and personally. So share your thoughts on this. 
So by the way, I love how this article summarized Harry's impact, saying, quote, Prince Harry showcased his sharp business acumen at the summit hosted by a billion-dollar company while also captivating fans with snapshots alongside Netflix's writer Mindy Kaling, who was also invited to the event. End quote. Kaling also spoke at the summit during a discussion on how to lead with, quote, levity and creativity, end quote. The Office star added how she had been raising her children, Catherine and Spencer, who are six and three, under the principle of gentle parenting, in quotes, but was reconsidering that. So it also went on to say, quote, fans lauded Prince Harry's casual appearance at the Better Up Summit. Despite being a royal by blood, Prince Harry strongly embraces the idea that less is more and his actions truly reflect this belief. Even when attending Better Up Summit as the chief impact officer of a company valued at around $5 billion, the Duke opted for a relaxed appearance which endeared him to many. Fans not only lauded him for this but also for his demeanor as his sense of regality transcended mere lineage. End quote. So as we know, Harry took on the role with the firm Better Up in March 2021, eight years after the company was founded. And Alexei Robichaud, who was also at the event, said at the time of the Duke's appointment that he hired him because he had been one of the, quote, fiercest advocates for mental wellness or mental health fitness for many years, end quote. So share your thoughts on this. Prince Harry, through his position, continues to leverage his platform to drive positive change and empower individuals to prioritize their mental well-being. And even though we don't have footage on this event, I'm sure that the anecdotes and stories that they shared with the panelists will go a long way in forging those collaborative efforts across various platforms to advocate for this very important topic. So here we have a couple of images from the event. Here we have Prince Harry all smiles as he is walking in, I guess, to the event to take the stage. And everyone just seems to be in such a great mood. Great smiles all around. And as I mentioned before, a lot of people who saw this seem to be so endeared to how Prince Harry has just been able to... To fit right in, he doesn't have errors and graces. He loves to be a team player and you can see him right here. He is just one of the bunch there to do his part and and I love the fact that he seems to be so vibrant. And in this picture where he's posing with Mindy Kaling as well, there's such a camaraderie that you can feel as you look at this image and as I said before it seems that they have a genuine connection there so yes uh, once again Prince Harry he is someone who can speak quite poignantly and pointedly on mental health he has endured quite a bit alongside his wife Megan and he has had such a as an article put it an unflappable demeanor in the face of relentless scrutiny that he has faced and he has been composed and not only used what he has gone through to better other individuals, but he has been very open about some of the struggles that he has faced. And once again, it does truly reinforce his reputation and I think his true character as a very genuine and sincere individual. So share your thoughts on all of this news. I'm so happy to share this with you in the comment section below. So thank you all for watching and before we log off, allow me here to thank those of you who support this channel financially and shout out a couple of you here by name. A very special thank you to you, Marcel Kendrick. Thank you so much for your unwavering support for my channel throughout the years. You've been so fantastic in your giving. I truly appreciate you for choosing to come along with me on this YouTube journey. I feel so blessed to know you. Thank you. And now a very special thank you as well to you, Georgia Walker. Thank you so much for being such a tremendous giver towards my channel here. I'm touched beyond words by your generosity and kindness and I truly do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much for once again being so generous and kind. May God bless you. And now a very special thank you to those of you who gave through Super Thanks. Thank you to you, Alma Andrews. Thank you 
so much for going above and beyond in your support for this channel. Your friendship, your love means so much to me. You are precious and dear. May God bless you. Thank you. And a very special thank you to Martha Jones for giving through PayPal. Thank you for your faithful giving towards my work here. You are such a blessing to all of us here. I appreciate your love and your encouragement and your support and all the ways that you give towards my work here. You mean so much to me. Thank you. May God bless you. And now thank you to those of you who gave through Super Chat. Thank you to you, Mrs. S. Thank you so much for your kindness and for every way that you choose to engage on this channel. You have truly moved me by your kindness that you've shown time and time again. May God bless you and yours exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. I love you. Thank you. Once again, leave your thoughts on all this news in the comment section below. I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you liked this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click that like button and subscribe to become a part of this channel. Also follow on Twitter or X. I'd love to see you on there for more informal posts. Have a great day and keep it here for more. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.